I'm here with Richard Wade, who I would call, he'll he'll die when I say this, well, hopefully not, um, the health and safety and risk extraordinary is the guru, in my view. You said um, something about you don't drink anymore. No, I don't, no. And so what, if I may, I mean, I'm what? 16, I call it 16 years sober, Um what what was uh, your reason for not drinking? Ah, interesting. And I'm how glad you that? mentioned that. Well, this is all linked in. So it, it goes back to this this fellow Chris Kirk actually. So the first networking event in the Gen Deer was a couple of years ago. Uh, and that was the first one actually at the Bristol Football Stadium. And we all pitched up, say hundreds of people. It was brilliant. What a fan! It was really good. Loads of light. My, let, let's come back to the agenda and, and mention the, what that's about. It's really important, actually. Please. And anyway, so I'm down at this this event at a fantastic event. All these workshops and people getting helped with housing, mental health issues, job searching, CVs, you name it. It's all about helping people who need help and signposting. That all finished. That was a brilliant day. And then we all go down to pub, we go to Weatherspoons. And I'm drinking my Guinness and I'm getting a little bit tipsy and everyone's getting tipsy, but not Chris Kirk. And I, I, my, my brain collared that. But he was still having a great time. He was still yakking away. And later on in the evening, we're all drunk, but not Chris Kirk. But he's still having a great time. And I'd, I'd noticed, I thought, that's really weird. He's an ex-commander, a bootneck, a Royal Marine commando. And he's sitting there with his flipping orange juice and a little umbrella in it or whatever. We didn't have an umbrella in it. But... No, in Weatherspoons, it didn't. <laughs> and that just struck me as quite odd. Anyway, I remember uh, a little while later, I didn't say anything at all, but it it, my, it had been logged in my in my memory bank there. And a little while later, we're having uh, some kind of conversation via LinkedIn. And I mentioned it in, in a message. Oh, I noticed you weren't drinking. I never drink. Never seen the never seen the point of it. And that really got me interested. I thought, hang on a minute. There's a roughy toughy commando there, and he doesn't drink, and he's really got his act together. He's the one who's like capable at the end of the night. He he knows how to get a taxi. He's first up in the morning, and all. I thought that's quite anyway. So I started reading, but now I I didn't. I was drinking quite a bit i used to love my guinness and red wine you know oh i love it i was a professional drinker for 40 years lisa i'm telling you <laughs> and i was good i should have got a medal instead i got a headache <laughs> and um big big fat cheeks anyway uh, i started reading loads of literature um quit lit as they call it and i started following people on podcasts and i really started getting an interest in it. i thought oh there's something in this that so with my my life, regular drinking, and I mean regular, every night I'd have a glass of wine or two. And at the weekends, I'd have a good old skin full of Guinness. So I've got really got thinking about how am I present, how am I, how am I showing up for the world in my, with my family and my, and my business? And the truth of the matter was, I was showing up tired, bloated, and not really on top of my game. That was the truth of the matter. And so I thought, well... You're nearly 60 now. And if you can't, I, I'm fat, funny, I'm 59 in two weeks' time. So, but I'm I always, I'm nearly 60. That's, that's all I think. <laughs> I'll get me on my pension when I'm 60. So I've got something to look forward to. So <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, you're nearly 60 now. So you can carry on having a couple of glasses of wine a night and plenty of Guinness at the weekend. And the outcome ain't going to be you're going to wake up with a six pack and a, and a, and a, a 10. 10 minute run or the outcome is you're going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and lazier and lazier and you might have a heart attack oh right so i had, I had some really serious talking to myself so i decided right well why don't you stop drinking for a little while and see how you feel and so i did that um let me go to while we're talking i'm going to go to my i've got an app on my phone by the way yeah and so i started just to see how I would feel by not drinking. So in the first week, I felt awful. 
I couldn't sleep, I had night sweats, and I thought, oh, this is horrendous, I'm even, I'm even more tired now, and I haven't, I haven't even got a hangover, so it's all, it was horrible. And I get to the end of the month, and I'm starting to feel, uh, there was an epiphany. I woke up one morning and I went, wow. Well, you probably know, you you because you, I went, that's what it's like to sleep properly then. I had this. I had the sleep of a baby. I, and I woke up and I felt so fresh and energized. I thought, "Wow, this is nice." So I kept it going, and then I started exercising, and then real change in my life started to happen. I found on a Saturday, instead of wanting to do this, that, and the other, and going to have a couple of pints in in my club. I'd be playing basketball with my boy Lewis mm. or would be off I live near a beach. I could be down the beach. We could be kicking the ball. These little things that I now realise I've been missing out on because I was drinking were starting to come into my life and I was starting to lose loads of weight. I've lost two stone, by the way, over the period of time. Mm. And my fitness levels have gone up. And the energy that it's given me is just unbelievable to the point where next week, I launch another business next week. We can maybe mention that at the end. It's not about, sorry, it's not about that though, but it's Tell me the what energy. is the business? Well, I, I don't want to turn this. I'm really enjoying this. I'll mention it. I'll mention the name and we'll leave it there. It's called mediczone.co.uk. Let, but I don't want this to be about, I want okay. this to be about your theme of, of change and being. And and make, but it sounds to me like having another mensch creating another business is all is all part of you always looking at how you can improve more how you can yeah. adapt more but right back to then your energy because i totally but, relate to all but, of I, but i'm so glad you mentioned the, the non-drinking thing because it, it, again it's one of those it has been one of those meant for more moments i didn't know it at the time i was just going to stop for a few weeks a month to see how i feel well and now i will show you my app this is the app that i use here it's called i am sober oh and what yeah and what it what you do you, it's free by the way there is a paid version but i've never paid for it and so it sends me a little it goes ping and i go oh i am sober wants to have a look at me so i open it up and it says to me richard you have been alcohol free for one year, three months, 26 days, four hours, one minute and 26 seconds oh. or 27 seconds or 28 seconds. That, that bit keeps changing <laughs> yeah. you know, as you would expect. But then you press another button and it says, oh, guess what? You also haven't spent £4,840 <gasps> on beer. That's just the beer, not the taxis and the kebabs. And But this is the other bit. This is why it's life changing when you stop drinking. It tells me. Richard, you also haven't sat there drinking Guinness for 2,420 hours. That's three months of time not sat guzzling beer. That's that, three months of starting a new business. It's Going three months football. of being with Lewis. It's three it, it goes to play football or basketball yeah. or, or decorating or doing your gardening or waking up thinking, Wow, I feel really fresh today. Yeah. Shall we go? Let's go to the Lake District. Yeah, come on, jump. The other thing is, you can always drive, as you know, you yes. can always, don't you, any time of the day or night. Um, this came to fruition when Lewis's chain came off his bike and he wasn't that close. On a Saturday, he wasn't that close to home. Now, normally, he wouldn't even phone me phone because he know I'd be having a guinea. So I would, yeah. damn, my chain's come off. I'm on my way. Where are you? It, Brilliant. Freedom. I tell you, one of oh, the things man. that I, because I, well, I'm interested in you now, Lisa. I, well, I, I would drink every night, and I, and it became yeah. a norm that seven o'clock, I would make sure I had two bottles of wine in the fridge. One I would definitely drink in, just in case, and I, I wasn't, and I, I wouldn't, I would never put my yeah. glass down because I had two yeah. retrievers, so that is probably why I would never put my glass. Yeah, down. yeah. So yeah. I, and and what I. I was doing my first ever motivational talk in 2008 and I thought I am, I don't feel confident. So I went on a detox for a month to lose weight. So yeah. I felt like I would be, and with that, the detox was cutting out salt, sugar, wheat, dairy, eggs, potatoes, yeah. caffeine and alcohol. And at the end of the month, I thought for as long as I don't miss it, 
I'm not going to drink it. And that was just my rule. If I don't miss it, I'm not going to drink it, but I'm going to be like really clear with myself about am I missing it or not? Or is it, is it the alcohol I'm missing or is it the socializing I'm missing? But like you've said, that waking up feeling fresh, I didn't know that that kind of wake up existed. I, didn't, I know it's like, oh, that's, that's, that's weird. And sleeping through the night, like oh, you say, and um yeah and the energy for the next day and the focus and but what I love the most is I love my freedom and so that freedom of being able to jump in a car anytime for anyone or if I'm going to a black tie dinner I can say to my friends I'll pick you up and then I will drop you off. oh you can't drop us off it's just too many of us no that's the perk <laughs> For me, that's the runs. perk. Do yeah. what you want, yeah. whenever you want. The other, I don't know if you noticed that. The, the other thing I've noticed, this is me, What I, it's given me clarity and consistency. So I, that's the key thing. So if I think back to when I was having my Guinness and all the rest of it, I didn't know if I was going to wake up in the morning grumpy, tired, slovenly. I know how I'm going to wake up now, full of beans rearing to go i've got i know where i'm doing the next day and i know i'm gonna do it i've got clarity and consistency and that's all because of not drinking i i'd advocate it for anybody but this it comes with some funny things doesn't it so i still go to my club they've now got alcohol free guinness zero percent guinness in there for me and guess what loads of other people drink it as well i love it it's amazing and how other people react to when you start drinking it is fascinating to me fascinating and so and i had a conversation i'm not going to name the phone i had a conversation with with an associate he, he also runs a, a company like mine a safety company and we're chatting away yesterday oh yeah yeah we, we should maybe get together for a beer and i said i don't drink anymore and there was like this silence oh he's ex-military as well that's a bit weird oh it's not weird it's brilliant you got never no, and I, and I did the same thing I've just done. You got me up out, and uh, and he used my old joke of seconds changing. Blah, blah, blah. That would never never get old. Um, he couldn't get his head around it, but he then did what everybody does. They then tell you how much they don't drink, <laughs> how they haven't got a problem with drinking. Oh, I only, uh, and I said to him, I oh, know I didn't ask you. Yeah, I'm not interested. I don't care how much you drink. Like, it's not to do with me. You go yeah. go. Fill your boots. I don't care. It's not my problem or issue. And I'm not that interested in your drinking habits. But if they want to tell you how they, it's very fascinating. Oh, it is. Or all, all that people think that um, people instantly think that I must have had a problem. Now, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I didn't stop because I had a problem. I stopped. Same. Life gave me the opportunity and I <laughs> ran with it because in it my family, yeah. My mum was an alcoholic, my stepmom's an alcoholic, my dad, my stepsister, my sister. And I had this opportunity where I wasn't missing it. I thought life does not happen like this does not happen like this. I'm a lucky girl that I am not struggling every day not to have a drink. And so, um, but then the other thing is I didn't get invited out in the same way as I used yeah. to get invited out. My life is much cleaner. I'm not destructive because uh, I had a yes. destructive aspect to my nature because of my upbringing and my yeah. programming. Um, and I've got a much more peaceful, calm and quiet life. And, and I love your app because what your app is reminding you all the time is this is how much value not yeah. drinking is worth so it, if you think knows. about drinking this is this is what's in jeopardy yeah. or That's you can. True. it's not that you can't but you can and i think i do think it's interesting um when people are like oh you're not drinking well i won't like, or um yeah. or the other thing is they say <gasps> oh well i don't want to tempt you and i get i actually get and I, i'm i'm going to be honest i get really annoyed when people think that what they do will influence me. I know exactly. It's what I, I, you, first of all, what you swallow has no impact on me. And secondly, I've got my own reason, my own purpose and my own um, value around it that you couldn't possibly make a difference to me. Exactly. And it's, it's just going back to what I mentioned earlier. It's just being in your own lane. And it doesn't, people, people, I don't mind, people drink, it doesn't bother me people get absolutely wasted it doesn't bother me yet because it's not my business i don't it's not that i don't care about people i don't I'm going to that don't theme, impose exactly that theme of 
look, whatever you're doing, I don't control what you do, think or feel. So therefore, I'm not really going to let it get any space. It's not living rent free in my head, what you do. So it's irrelevant. I'll just get on with my own stuff and do what I need to do. And I think that's the way to look at it. But I'm so glad I did it. I, the real, f- I, I, will, I have a funny feeling I will never drink again in my entire life. And the reason I know this to be a fact is because I've been through, as you have, mm. we've been through those key milestones that typically we would associate with drinking alcohol, and probably to excess. So I've been, so I packed in in the June, in the August, guess what? Holiday in France. Did, 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 did. Oh, before that was red wine, cheese, and beer time. <laughs> Not, that was really difficult, but I won't lie to you. That was really, really tough. I nearly came close, but I thought I, I learned to play it forward. Yeah, okay. So you can have a glass of wine. What's the benefit of that? And how are you going to feel tomorrow? And more importantly, you're going to have to set your app back to zero. You're going to have to start all over again. Imagine that now, all those thousands of hours and, and calories. I, it, I, the thought of it, I didn't mention the calories. You're not going to believe this, right? I guess I'm 968,000 calories that I haven't stuck in me what used to be my fat face. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the app is so powerful? It is, you know, what we all need more of is consciousness, isn't it? We all need to be more yeah. conscious yeah. instead of just letting our mind unconsciously take us in old patterns and so what that app is brilliant for is just bringing to consciousness you yeah. can it doesn't take away your choice it just makes you conscious about your choice and that right. idea of i don't want to reset my app to zero uh, I don't exactly want, that. and the other thing is for me i think of will i find it as easy not to miss it if i drink this now and yeah. and is it worth it no it's not is it exactly. worth it or is Different it just, what just going to be comfortable. Well, well, on that subject, um, there's some brilliant podcasts. The one, the one, uh, it's Claire Pooley, and uh, there's a the, remember the girl called uh, Jenny Lee Grace. Yes, uh, Jenny Lee. Je- yeah. I've asked to so, be on her podcast actually. Oh, well, just she's come, brilliant. Just come back yeah. to me and said, "Yes, I just need to book you in." Do it. Get on there. Uh, she um, she says some wonder. I listen to her podcast. Well, she's done loads of books as well. I, I didn't realize until I started following her on the Sober social. Club. Yeah, Sober Club. Yeah, she she was a backing singer in Wham. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, and then obviously she was on the Steve Wright in the Afternoon show for all them years as well. It it was when I was listening to one of her podcasts. I, I was thinking, why do I know that voice? That voice sounds so familiar. So then one day she said, oh, yeah, but when we did the Steve, now that's it. She was on the, the, the fun facts or factoids, whatever they were yes. called. Yes, yeah. yeah. But she, um, she, she always says on, on, on some of her stuff that just because you stop drinking, life doesn't really, well, it does change, it gets better. She's, uh, but going out with your friends, just carry on doing what you're doing. Don't, don't change the recipe, just change the ingredient. Yes, that's a brilliant Take away thing. the Take away the booze and put in a zero percent Guinness or a whatever, and and you still have the same amount of fun. But it's even more fun. It's just so much more fun. So I know now, and I still go and drop in the club not that often. I must add, normally I'm doing something more productive with my time now. But when I do pop in there, it's probably going to make me sound like a conceited bozo, but it's true. <laughs> so I'm going to say it. When I, as I'm entering the door. I know where they're going to be and I know who's going to be hung over and drunk talking the same stuff they were talking last Saturday. So I'll pop in and say, hi, and I'm a little chat. And then I get abuse from one of the guys. I won't name him. I won't even name what he does because everyone will know who it is. Oh, are you still not drinking? You're no fun. <laughs> so just, you've never been fun. You're not fun. <laughs> I, I think you've never been fun sober or drunk. At least I've got a fighting chance because I and yeah. I can drive home afterwards yeah. to get away from you. <laughs> and that's what I love as well is that being able to leave somewhere anytime you like. And everything, the world is, everything's much freer, isn't it? But um, it is. yeah, it's true. Uh, uh, one of the things I used to do for years, and I've stopped doing it now, is saying to people and say, oh, we'll go for a glass of wine. Instead of just saying, yes, that'd be lovely. And then ordering something that I want when I'm there. I used to say, oh, I don't drink, which meant that they stopped inviting me because I don't drink. Right. Yeah. So now I think everybody knows I don't drink because I bloody told them. But so, um, You get used to it after a while. And, you, and 
it's interesting that um your groups I, i've noticed this so you you're you're the, the people that you used to and this is me i'm talking about the people that i used to be surrounded with and associated with has changed mm. and your true friends they're around what's the saying um those that matter don't mind and those that mind don't matter, don't matter. oh it's so true Exactly. So yeah, you find, I find myself operating in, in a different way now. But boy, oh boy, it's so much better. I remember when I was at, um, and this is for anybody that's thinking that they might want to stop, I guess. So I was um, away on holiday. It, well, it was so, it was more of a, it was a Juicy Mountain, which is a juicing retreat. And oh. um, so everybody had gone. They were like saying, oh, I can't wait to have a glass of wine. And somebody else was saying, oh, I might try and give it up for a month or and I would say, and, this, and I would say, well, I've done it and it's easy. What they would then do that I think would trip them up is they start thinking, well, I work, I've got a drink because I'm at that wedding or I'm going to that and I can't imagine yeah. not drinking. That'll be really hard. So they started future projecting difficulty. Setting the failure. It's that yeah. mindset again, isn't yeah. it? Instead Planning. of just thinking, I'm just going to be in the now. I'm just going to go and be in the now. And you can only ever make a decision in the moment. You can't make a decision in advance because I'm a big believer in checking yeah. in with yourself and thinking, does this still feel right for me? What do I want? Um, oh, darling, we could talk. And I think we should do. I've enjoyed that. An, an episode two. And I think we will focus on episode two on mindset. Uh, yeah, absolutely. creating a meant for more future proof mindset because I love your um, I love your disciplines around the mind and how you use it.